This is like the moment of truth. When we lift Jupiter out, see what sort of growth we got on the bottom there. And then some guy decides whether it's enough to claim warranty. But you reported it, right? Yeah, uh, I first told time. You. Yeah. Well, we picked a lovely day to uh, motor down to Panama, to uh, Colón, actually. It's been raining every day, but yesterday it sort of rained in the morning and then cleared up quickly. But not this one. <laughs> it's pissing down. Everything's wet. You know, it is summer. It is hot. Well, it's not exactly hot right now, but certainly sweaty. We could have put up the winter awnings and then and the windscreens in that would have taken you know half an hour or so to put that in and then we would have stayed dry but with this limited visibility as it is in the in the rain i really want to be able to see well because the charts here are terrible and plus there's uh you know we're coming in we're going to cross the panama canal entrance to get where we're going today so a lot of traffic obviously you want to see and any transparencies that you put up and not that transparent, hard to see through. Just hope that the bloody rain stops soon. And Princess won't come inside because she feels sick, so she's on watch. I feel better here. Yeah. Anyway, it's not, uh, it's not very far to go. We've got about maybe 20 miles to go. And what we're doing is going up the river Chagres, Rio Chagres, which apparently is a lovely jungle river. And maybe we'll see howler monkeys, and maybe we'll see toucans. I just hope we can see something in this rain. <laughs> no, I really hope the rain stops before we get there. So far, so good. We're just about to come into the entrance. It is scary though, because the water is completely brown. It is a river, but we're doing okay. Wow, the, the entrance is much narrower than the chart here says. I don't know anyone that's been up here recently. Really narrow. Gee, I'm wondering if I can fit Jupiter through it. B, have a look at the, the entrance here. Yeah. Really narrow. Well, that was uh, a little scarier than I'd hoped. But anyway, the water was fine, deep enough. And now we're in the calm, back to the river. So I think we just go another maybe mile. Actually, it's 1.7 miles up the river. People have said they can anchor next to howler monkeys, which I don't know if I want to do that. Because <laughs> they're bloody noisy. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, we'll see. May, may not be able to sleep tonight. There's something in the water. What? There. Ah. Fishing pot? I think it's a fishing pot. I thought it's a mooring in the beginning. Might be a mooring. Mooring ball. That's one anchorage. One of the anchorage here. Well, you can stop anywhere you like, really. Someone anchored there once. Yeah. This is where they said the, the monkeys were, but that was seven years ago, so... <laughs> They've probably moved on. Well, we've traveled all the way up to the... almost to the end of the river there, and haven't seen any monkeys. That's what we were looking for. But that's okay. 
we've got time we'll probably stay here a day or two only that there is no internet so it's a little bit like going without oxygen for us so we'll see how long we can hold our breath uh, very deep lucky if we can find anything less than 10 meters and our chain is a bit short but also we don't want to lose it and we don't want to lose the rockna so we're not going to put much chain out in fact i think i think we might put out the fortress anchor because the fortress is a much cheaper anchor to replace and use the rope that's what i'm thinking because you know there's probably logs on the bottom here because it's deep we'd have a lot of chain out and we're going to swing around sweep the entire area of the river and there's a really good chance we're going to catch a log there i'm more inclined to use the fortress and the rope i think i'll get it ready Rio Chagres, which yeah. is a, uh, a beautiful river. It's only short though, it's probably only three or four miles long in total, but it comes from a dam from the Panama Canal. There's a dam, spills over the side, comes into the sea. So uh, we're sitting in that and there's absolutely nobody here. It's beautiful. It's uh, it's really lovely jungle. There's two cans flying around. Parrots. Parrots walking. There's um, monkeys. Yeah, the howler monkeys up in the trees. So we've been here for two days, and we've sort of been reined in for those two days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it did stop for an hour or two yesterday. We're hoping it stops again today because we want to. The only bad thing about this place is there's no internet. No internet. <laughs> Don't really want to go. You know plugging through the rain out of river mouth, which was actually a bit scary, the mouth yeah. of this river. It's very narrow. Very narrow and reef around as well. And then we're gonna go sit outside Shelter Bay in a sort of rough anchorage. Mm. But if the weather clears up a little bit, we'll head out. So here, Shelter Bay, and lucky we come ashore to see the manager, and he is going to do the inspection on the antifoul. So he seems like a nice guy, and yeah, lucky we came early because he's in contact with Seahawk right now, and they have to sign the contract for the haul out on Monday mornings. I had paperwork to fill up, and it really needs to be signed by Seahawk, who are paying for the haul out. So uh, it's Saturday today, isn't it? Yeah. So. Uh, anyway, he, he says, yeah, they'll sign it and return it for the Monday haul out. But he seemed pretty interested in the video that we've got, which was two months back, of the antifoul was, uh, you know, just not performing. I'm unsure what his thoughts are, but I got a feeling that we're going to be on the hard. Seems like a pretty good operation here, actually. Uh, very professional and friendly. Ah, 
so it's uh, approaching haul out time. Got about 45 minutes to get the boat ready. All we need is lines ready and fenders. It's blowing a bit. It's probably 10 to 15. Actually, it's probably closer to 15. No, 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 you be quiet. But once we go into the marina, surely the wind will drop off a bit. And it uh, should be easy, should be straight in. This haul out is not our decision. We, uh, I guess it's 10 months ago now, we put on Seahawk Antifoul, color coat. It was the most expensive antifoul I've ever decided upon. Uh, the reason I chose it is because they offer a one year warranty. Now, the warranty seemed to be full of re restrictions. Uh, it said that you must return to the yard that applied the, the paint, which was in the Chesapeake. So we're in Panama, ain't going back there. But I emailed the company anyway and just said, you know, we're disappointed in this product. And they've said, okay, can you haul out? And we will inspect it. So that's what's happening today. Fingers crossed, they'll decide that it needs new paint. And this is all on the bill of Seahawk. So let's see what happens. I need fenders and lines. Let's go. is like the moment of truth when we lift her out uh, lift Jupiter out see what sort of growth we got on the bottom there and then some guy decides whether it's enough to claim warranty seems like a lot of expense to go to unless you intend to paint but anyway let's see what happens I guess we'll find out within the hour Just waiting now. The we've been on the hard now for an hour in the slings. Manager came out to take. He took about 40 photos, so he's sending those back to um, Seahawk, so they can make a decision. I actually thought it would be simpler than this. I actually thought it would just be oh yeah 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 put it in the yard you know we'll do it. But no, they're being critical yeah that's fine but I'm a bit embarrassed to say that I mean the hull was actually really quite clean which is annoying because like four months ago it was thick green hair obviously that area that was Mexico and then and then it was Jamaica and then Bocos del Toro obviously areas of strong growth of, of the weed because there's no barnacles that's that is true there is no barnacle but the props also have no barnacle and I did not treat the props so anyway sitting here waiting waiting to see what happens we got jobs to do you know on the on the hard we got jobs to do so maybe they're gonna come back and say well, it's pretty clean. We'll just put you straight back in, you know, and then I'm going to have to go, hang on a minute. <laughs> Can we at least get a couple of days out, you know? So, and then they're going to say, oh, why? You got other jobs you need to do? Well, then you pay half, you know. Your mind runs away with shit like this, you know. Hate waiting. It's like waiting to find out if you passed an exam or something.
I'm removing the anodes so that I can pull the prop shaft. What about the rudder? Why there's water in it? it always is. You know, I've tried everything, trying to keep water out. Don't know why. I got your hammer. What are you, Thor? <laughs> yeah. You're Thor, or does it hurt at all? Or you... A girl Thor. <laughs> what? I'm really Thor. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, we're on the hard. Yay! So that's one <laughs> half of the challenge. Mm -hmm. So we hauled out yesterday, sat there in the travel lift for an hour or two, waiting for Seahawk to Answer. make their decision on whether they're going to paint. And they just did not reply. The, the yard manager here has been lovely. He's been yeah. really good. But Seahawk didn't reply. He tried ringing the, the guy, and he's not answering. So he just came and saw me now. He said he's going to try the main office phone number. So anyway, hopefully we'll find out soon whether they're going to paint. Because they really need to. Have a look at this. The paint's just come off. Look, okay, it um, just hasn't adhered to the boat. Yeah. You know, and usually that's, that's the fault of lack of preparation. And yeah, that was the previous boatyard that did it. And they did the sanding, they did the preparation. So it's, a, you know, a legitimate warranty claim. But, you know, hopefully we'll know today. They got the paint sitting here already. And uh, it just needs proper preparation and then put the paint on. Yeah. Performance of the paint, not great. Good for hard growth, uh, not one barnacle. So that's great, but a lot of slime still, a lot of green beard that I'm constantly cleaning. And that's foul too, it slows you down, you know? That's the point of anti-foul. That's why I paid $1,200 in paint last time. So let's see what they do. Hopefully tomorrow, we're going to hire a car in the morning mm -hmm. and go stay in a hotel. Resort? Resort, yeah. sort of. Not really a resort at all. Yeah. They call it's a shitty hotel. Yeah, <laughs> it's here okay. they call it resort, just like Philippines. <laughs> um, I chose it. Yeah, it's got lots of animals. Yeah. So that's going to be cool. And wow, last night was, like yesterday was crazy hot. Last night was in, almost intolerable. It was... Uh, so hot, so many mosquitoes. And it's raining. And it would rain on and off, hatch closed, and ah. <laughs> so we're really looking forward to the hotel. Air conditioning, wow. That's luxury, air conditioning is luxury. I know. <laughs> so, cutlass bearing again. Just this one though. The glue join failed. Now, I know I, I, when I was putting these in in Chesapeake, I got a bunch of comments saying, you can't just, you don't know what you're doing. You can't just glue in a cutlass bearing. You need set screws, grub screws, which that's what these holes are for. Well, sorry guys. You can't have dissimilar metals under here unnecessarily. And gluing is no problem, but you gotta glue it right. And in hindsight, I didn't glue it right. So the cutlass bearing was spinning most, you know, for the last few months. It's just been spinning with the prop shaft and the glue was gone. So what I did wrong is these side holes. I did not consciously clear those side holes out. And now I remember the builder designer telling me, make sure glue comes out of these holes. And now I know why. Because <laughs> basically, it's sheathed inside the cylinder there. You need those little side pieces to come out to create a, like a lock, like a keyway. So uh, that's what I did not do last time. And this one, the glue failed. So I'm about to put in a new cutlass. I've got new ones. This is the old one. Still good though. I'll keep it as a spare. But I'm surprised, like I thought that, I mean, we've been running this engine. Initially, I was very careful to not run this engine, but then we'd run it for a bit and then I'd check it 
and there appears to be no wear, really. Like, this is in there spinning away. I thought there'd be some wear. Look how hard this is. There's absolutely no damage to that. That's amazing. There is a little bit of grooving on the inside of the, uh, the tube here. Now I've cleaned it up really well this time. And that grooving, the scoring, will actually help the glue hold this better. So I think it's gonna be much better this time. I'll go and get the new bearings. This is our new dinghy for three days. <laughs> this one goes fast. <laughs> Same color though. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sleeping? You just rest. <laughs> so, we have a three day vacation and we're going to the Summit Rainforest Resort near Panama City. Well, oh, now I need my phone. Where is it? Oh, it's in the back. Oh, you said you want to use my phone. It's easy to stand. There it is. So, I, I need you now. <laughs> I feel good. Mm -hmm. -na 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 -na. I knew that I would now. <laughs> I feel nice. Yes. Shoot. <laughs> so good, mm, mm. so good, mm. I got you. Mm-hmm. It's a day evening. Oh yeah. It's um everybody coming out for the evening. Oh, yeah. Hello Jose. Jose? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's not like a bread for oh, no. Don't worry. <gasps> it's not like what a is bread. That? Bread? He eats bread? Yeah. See? I love oh. bread. <laughs> <laughs> I love bread. One more? That's carbs. Good. How are you today? Hotel food is no good for me. Yeah, we're in a hotel. Um, today is Saturday. We hauled out on Monday. So what's that? Today's the sixth day out of the water. Um, nothing's happening yet. 
but good news, it seems that Seahawk will repaint and they will uh, pay for the labor to sand the boat first. So, uh, and this is coming third hand from um, the boatyard. They said, yes, we will start work soon. So that's great. That's great. Thank you very much, Seahawk, although they haven't told us personally yet. The disappointing thing is, the boatyard says it's going to take 10 days of working on the boat. We're already six days in. They haven't started yet. Seven days of sanding, they say, and three days of painting. And that's seriously, that's three times longer than last time we painted. I um, hope that seven days represents the fact that they're gonna do a deep sand, really take it back. So that's, that's great. But still a long time, a week of sanding. And so the thing is we can't stay on the boat. It's just really unbearable, the heat. Um, although today would be nice, it's raining. So that'll be okay. But the real problem is the mosquitoes. Serious amounts of mosquitoes. And we're worried about getting some sort of virus or disease, you know, mosquito-borne illness. So we checked ourselves into a hotel. We hired a car and now we're in a hotel down near Panama City. So I've asked Seahawk, is there any provision to provide for accommodation for us? Because uh, it's gonna cost us a thousand bucks in uh, hotel and car hire, you know. You know, the prices are pretty good here. Like this one was $80 a night. Uh, tonight we're moving to a cheaper one, $60 a night. The car's only $30 a day, so at good prices. It's still gonna be a thousand bucks for a week or, or 10 days. So. so we might have some new plans. I think this is what we're gonna do. Before, we were gonna go through the canal and start wandering up the west coast of Mexico. But not too high because that's the hurricane season. But instead, we're thinking about staying this side and maybe go back to San Blas and do some charter. Mm -hmm. 